Morning, everyone. It's Friday morning. Been a particularly long week this week, or at least it feels that way. This is your pre opening comment. It's video number 778 for Friday the 21st. It's also an options expiration for the month. Um, but there's really not much news around this morning. Uh, Asia is uh, slightly, un is unchanged to slightly higher. Europe is a little bit higher. Uh, economic news, we have the PMI for both manufacturing and services, but they don't come until after the market opens. They come at 945 and existing home sales comes at 10. Uh, as I said, it's uh, kind of a quiet day so far. Uh, the Dow looks to extend its gains from yesterday. Uh, the um, the pre-opening looks like up about 140. Uh, Nasdaq up about 55, and the S and P up 16. Um, on the earnings front, we had John Deere, which beat top and bottom line. And although the stock is still down on the week, it is up over six dollars, uh, three sixty one forty eight up six twenty six, one point seven percent. Amat beat top and bottom, uh, was is not very exciting. Uh, the stock is up a little, but that's a pretty badly beaten down group. Uh, one thirty one seventy eight up a dollar forty seven or one point one percent, and VFC. VF Corp uh, missed on uh, earnings, beat on revenues, and uh, the stock is actually down a bit. 8060 down 422 or 5%. And I want to make a comment on yesterday's uh, news that sent the uh, Bitcoin market back towards the downside before recovering, and that was the proposed regulation. I, I don't really see this as anything to be concerned about. Um, they're talking about the uh, tracking of uh, positions, purchases, and sales of over $10,000. That's the same thing that we have in the banks now. If you walk into a bank with $10,000 uh, in cash, then you know, there's paperwork to sign out. But uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, this Bitcoin regulation at 10,000 and up is, uh, you know, looks to be the same thing. It doesn't stop people from using cash uh, from the banks. It won't stop people from buying and trading Bitcoin. Uh, chart on the screen is the oil. It's been somewhat of a rough re week. Uh, you know, in last week's comment, I said, uh, you know, a lot of times you see what looks like a double top, uh, you know, you sell it. What we've had here is a rally and a run at 67. This is 66.76. This is 66.63. And this is 67.02, all unable to hold to the upside. <clears throat> We're still not that far away from the closing high, which was 66.09. Uh, but it looks like we can come down a little bit more. I, I wouldn't really be too surprised to see us trade 60 or $61 again. Right now we're 63.06. Uh, I want to show you that uh, Bitcoin chart that I just mentioned. Uh, let's go to the tape. Uh, dollar is up just a shade after being down pretty good yesterday. Okay, so this is the week. You know, we closed out last week at uh, 50,000. We traded down to 30,000 here to, uh, this week, uh, and we've rallied all the way back up right through or up to the area of the last important breakout to the upside. I think we ought to go to the daily, make it look a little easier for you to see. So we came down hard. Uh, this was Wednesday. Uh, we briefly touched and went through the 200 day moving average and rallied up. Yesterday was an inside day. Uh, as I said, that 10,000 regulation came and news came in 
right around the year 38, 38 and a half thousand. We did get back down, but nowhere near the low. We only got to about 35 and 35 and a half thousand before rallying and closing up on the day. And today we have another, looks like an inside day. Let's just check it. 42, 240, 42, 420. So, so far we have an inside day. We're lower by about $50 from uh, breaking yesterday's high. Uh, I expect that if we do break yesterday's high, we'll get back into this 44, 44 and a half thousand. Um, you know, this may not look like much on the charts, but you know, these are pretty big numbers. I mean, today we look basically unchanged and yet we're up $740, you know, almost 2%. So, um, We'll keep an eye on this one. Uh, the bonds are slightly higher, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. A reminder, don't forget to subscribe.